In the previous topic, we have seen about lemmatization and stemming. Now we are going to see what is a stop keywords and how it plays a very important role while doing the text analysis. So let us go to the PPT that we have created for you. First of all, before going to the stop keywords, you should understand what is lemmatization and what is stemming. What is the differences between these two? Okay. So the first difference is basically in lemmatization is that the word representation have meanings. In stemming, the word representation may not have any meaning. That we have seen from the previous example. We had seen the example of intelligently, intelligent and intelligence. That got converted in stemming to intelligent. Whereas in case of lemmatization, it got converted to intelligent. Then lemmatization uses usually takes more time than stemming. Whereas stemming takes less time. Using lemmatization when meaning of the word is important for analysis. That basically means that you should use lemmatization when meaning of the word is important. The examples are question answer application or other examples may be something like chatbots because chatbots usually communicate with each other, with you, with different kind of people. So the meaning of the word is very important for chatbot. At that particular point of time, I have to use lemmatization. Let us see about the stemming. Using use stemming when meaning of the word is not important for analysis. So some of the example of this are basically spam detection and some other examples are positive and negative sentiment analysis of any products. It may be either in a blog or it may be through any other products in your websites and many more things. So these are the basic differences between lemmatization and stemming. Now we have seen the differences between stemming and lemmatization. Now we are going to see about stop keywords and how it plays a very important role in text analysis. So let us go to the code and understand how stop keywords work. First of all, I'll try to import NLTK. Now if you want to apply stop words, first of all, we need to understand why are these stop words used. Now just in this paragraph, if you see, there are many words like the, he, must, a, to that this kind of words are actually not necessary if you are trying to implement some application like positive or negative sentiment analysis or some of the application like spam classifier because these words will not be having that meaningful opinion about that whole paragraph or about that whole sentence so what we can do is that we can remove this kind of small small words like the to that there in such that the processing time of all these sentences takes usually less time. For that purpose, we usually use something called as stop words. Now, if you want to download some of the stop words, the stop words are available in different different languages like English, like German, French, Spanish and many more languages. So what we do is that let us see first of all how we can just download the stop words that are present in NLTK. So for downloading, you have to just execute nltk.download stop words. So when I execute this, it will take some time to execute. But once the execution is happening, you can see that it is downloading packaging stop words to this particular path. Now you can see that the package stop words is already up to date because I have already downloaded it. But if you are downloading it for the first time, it will take a little bit more time. Now the next thing is basically I have to import a library called as stop words to access the stop words that I have downloaded through this NLTK. So for that I will be importing a library like from NLTK.corpus import stop words is my library that I am going to use. So let me just execute it. So here it is it has got executed perfectly. Now I will show you some of the most common stop words that are basically used in terms of English language, in terms of French language, in terms of Spanish language. So let us see an example of English language. So if I write stop words dot words and if I give the parameter as English language. So if this is my English language, if I see it, you will be able to see various kind of words which represent this, this as a stop word. So this kind of words will not make meaning full opinion in a particular sentence when you are doing some positive or negative sentiment analysis. So this stop words can be removed from that particular paragraph. So that is the first step that we will be doing with respect to stop words. Okay. 
Now let us see with respect to different languages how the stop words are. So if I execute something like this, we say stop words dot words and if I give the parameter as French. Now you can see there are different kind of French words and if you are actually working in a French paragraph or French kind of sentences of French languages, at that time you can use this stop words to remove the unnecessary words that are not necessary for actually modeling your algorithm. So similarly you will be having in different different languages like French, German and even though Spanish. If I see, if you provide the parameter as Spanish, you will be able to see that. And here it is with respect to your Spanish particular stop words. Okay, now we have seen about the stop words. What we have to do is that, first of all, let's see how we can apply the stop words to this paragraph. Now, first of all, I'm going to execute it once again. So here it is, I'm executing the paragraph over here. Now you can see that this is my paragraph which is having the complete sentence. Let me also import NLTK. Now what we are doing is that first step is basically tokenizing, right? I we need to tokenize this paragraph into sentences. So I'm going to convert this into sentences. Now in the sentences you will be seeing that I have five different kind of sentence. Now the next thing is that if I need to apply stop words, how can I do it? First of all, what I'll do is that I'll run a for loop on all these sentences. So they are on five sentences. So basically five different kind of loops will be running. After we run these five loops, what we do that we try to convert the sentences into words. Okay. Once we converted the sentences into words, we are going to write a condition like this for word in words if word not in stop word dot words and the language is basically English. So again, if I show you what is stop words dot words in English language, this is basically all the stop keywords that are present in English. So this all words I will be trying to remove from my whole paragraph. So let us see, I have to put a condition like for words in words, if word is not present in that stop word, I have to remove that and then finally combine those word and create your new sentence without your stop words. So let me execute this line and see how our new sentence will look like. So currently my new sentence looks something like this. If man wishes become great orator and this was my older sentence. Now you can see that some of the common words like if I just compare the first sentence, some of the common words like a, a has gone, two, two has gone after applying the stop keywords. So you can see here is my new sentence, if a man wishes become greater orator, must first become student great. So if you see over here, there is some keywords like if a man wishes to become a great orator, he must first become a student. So you can see that some of the most common words that are present in the stop words that has been removed from these sentences. And this is all about stop words. This will be very, very handy if you are trying to use in terms of sentiment analysis, actually creating your spam classifier because spam classifier and sentiment analysis focuses more on the words instead of focusing on small, small words like a, the, that and all those kind of words. Now you have seen after applying the stop words, how your data is actually getting converted to or the sentences, how it is getting converted to. Now we have seen about the stop words and we have also implemented it by using Python and NLTK. In the next topic, we are going to combine both stop words, lemmatization and stop words and stemming and try to do some text analysis processing and try to format our data in such a way that it becomes very easy for the model to understand. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos. A cat killed. Average is dead.